Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for uh, dinitrogen. So here we go. Uh, dinitrogen is just N2, which is going to give us uh, two nitrogens each with five valence electrons for a total of ten valence electrons. All right. So in this one, it's a pretty simple structure. You have two nitrogens. And so let's say you start off with a single bond and you're just going to fill out each octet. This is not the right structure, but we're going to get there. So um, if you notice, each one has 8, but there's a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So we, and we only have 10, so we have to start moving some of these over. So let's move this non-bonding pair into the center here for a double bond. And then let's also get rid of this one. So now there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, but we still need to get down to the 10, so let's move this non-bonding pair in for a triple bond and also get rid of this one. So now there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And this is actually going to be the correct structure, so let's just redraw it because it's kind of messy. Two nitrogens, triple bond, and then there's the non-bonding pairs on each side. Okay, so now let's go ahead and check the formal charge real quick. Uh, the formal charge of the nitrogen... For, for both, since they both have the same setup, it's going to end up being uh, 5 valence brought in minus 1, 2, 3 bonds minus 1, 2 non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of 0 times that by 2, because there's 2 of those, gives you overall formal charge of 0, which is what we want because this is not a charged particle. All right, uh, We can talk about the shape real quick. Uh, this is going to be a linear shape only two um, two atoms, all right? And with linear shapes, the bond angles are going to be uh, approximately 180 degrees, okay? Looking at either of the nitrogens, there's one, two different bonding sites. So that's going, that means it's going to be an sp hybrid for the uh, hybrid orbitals, okay? And because there's these are both the same atom, they're, they're both nitrogens, this is end up this is going to end up being a non polar compound because each nitrogen will cancel out each other's dipole moment giving you a net dipole moment of zero. Uh, that's pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions let me know and thanks for watching.